Uh, welcome to the market alert for Friday, the 29th of December 2017. Not much uh, of it left now, and uh, the next market alert will be uh, in 2018. So, uh, before we go any further, I'd like to wish you all the very best for 2018. And I think it's going to be a very interesting one across uh, a broad range of markets in particular the bond market and uh, the cryptocurrencies. But more on that uh, next week. Uh, the yields continue to flatten, which we've looked at uh, throughout uh, 2017. Uh, not necessarily every day, but we can see that the yield curve is actually uh, flattening, which is generally a precursor to an economic slowdown. And also, uh, obviously, uh, institutions not so keen on the lower rates of the bonds that are being issued. So yesterday, the pound... Um, yeah, just moving higher, then pulling back. I mean, you can't even see the other psychological line there. The range is uh, fairly narrow. You can see that. And it's been the same on the overnight, but still moving higher in the daily chart, as you will see here. I've uh, already drawn in the next upside uh, targets uh, and resistance areas, which you can see here. So if we do get a buy signal, uh, during today, then you want to uh, make a note of these areas because that's where the market's likely to uh, falter. News-wise today, uh, nothing. So again, as we run into the end of the year, I would expect uh, a fairly quiet uh, day, to be perfectly honest with you. Apart from the Dow, which I think they may today seize the opportunity to move this market higher. The market didn't do much uh, yesterday, uh, we can see there that uh, prices were sideways initially, a lot of volume in the second bar as well, then they moved the prices higher, and then it just traded sideways. It did attempt this one, but uh, ended up coming out to break even. Could have hung in there a bit longer, but uh, gosh, it was like watching paint dry uh, yesterday. It was just awful. Well, you can see on the overnight, the markets continued to move higher, and if we look at the bigger picture in the daily, you can see that we're getting close to that uh, situation, which I've already pointed out, that triangular shape that we've seen so often in the Dow, breaking through the highs there at 24,875 and heading up to the 25,000. Will it do it today? Today is the day, really. It's got to do it before uh, ending 2017. But if not, I'm sure at the start of trade on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, New York time, that is, that the market will actually drive higher and head back up towards, uh, well, not, not head back up, uh, it hasn't done it yet, but head towards the uh, 25,000 uh, level there. Quick look at uh, the implied volatility. The implied volatility down, as you'd expect uh, yesterday, from 874 to 849, still range bound. Well, it needs to break out one way or the other on this. Uh, but the, as I uh, say, yeah, Tuesday really will be. Uh, the start of uh, the markets getting back to normal there. And a quick look at uh, the crypto sphere. We'll have a look at uh, Bitcoin before uh, we conclude the final market alert for 2017. So yesterday we saw uh, Bitcoin uh, moving lower once more. You can see uh, there this is a four hour chart. Um, the daily is fine, but it's nice just to see what this is doing in the four hour chart. Uh, Heikineshi uh, bars on here as well, which really gives a nice uh, picture of the ups and the downs. And uh, we just turn back to green as well. Uh, crucial areas in this market is here, down at uh, this uh, one here, 76%. Uh, came close to it, but uh, then has rebounded off. I'm going to expect this market to not just uh, rip higher, uh, but actually consolidate and become range bound between uh, 17,000 and uh, 13,000 for some time, or the low of here, which is 12,000. I would think that this got to consolidate for some time before it can make the next move. Maybe wrong there, but uh, at the moment, it's it have, after the massive move that it made uh, up to 20,000, let's have a look, see if we can create a weekly chart. Probably going to look slightly odd with all of the uh, annotations we've got on there see if we can we can see that the markets uh, moved sharply higher you know that anyway so we'll just move these out of the way there we go so it's, it's got to be 
sort of range bound for a while let's just remove everything off there make it easier there you go so you can see that the markets uh, becoming sideways well, second week of sideways there as well so wouldn't be at all surprised so look at the daily now we're, we've done this as well and you can see they're becoming range bound uh, as well so i would expect this to uh, continue for a while before we have uh, an assault on the uh, all-time highs at uh, 20,000 area there right that will uh, do for this one and uh, for this year as ever thanks for your support and also for watching see you in the next one in 2018